it's Jazzy from That Eurovision site and I am in one of our potential Eurovision 2023 host cities. At the time of recording we have just received the shortlist and we have already done videos for Leeds, Manchester and Glasgow so please go check them out. The next city that we are visiting is Sheffield and I feel like the first place I am going to head is the potential arena for Eurovision 2023 if it was to be hosted in Sheffield because I feel like that's the best place to start so let's go! So if the Sheffield bid was to be successful I am outside the arena where Eurovision 2023 would be held, the Utila Arena. It is a 13,600 seat capacity and it's just a really, really nice arena. Um, it's a very similar capacity to the ones that we've seen recently in Rotterdam, Turin, um, Tel Aviv. So it would definitely work for Eurovision and obviously it's used to hold, holding big concerts like it's hosted the likes of Little Mix, Nickelback. So it's used to hosting big concerts. So I think this would fair, fair, fairly good, good at Eurovision. One of the next things I'm going to take a look at is like just something that you could do in Sheffield like during like your relaxation time between the Eurovision shows. Um, so I'm going to go to the Meadow Hall Shopping Centre because it is a pretty big deal in Yorkshire, like a lot of people go. So yeah, I'm going to head over there now. I am now at the Meadow Hall shopping centre, so it's more than just a shopping centre, it's also a travel hub, so you can get trains, trams, buses into, in, into the main city centre of Sheffield, you can also get them to the arena, you can also like get in and out of Sheffield itself, so this is going to be, this is probably quite a useful hub for people travelling in and out, in and out of Sheffield, like from within the UK, so yeah, this is somewhere where you will come across if you're travelling in to visit Sheffield if Eurovision 2023 was to be hosted here, so... So, I am currently in Hillsborough now. Um, so I'm on my way to the park, I'm just taking a walk up. Um, basically this is somewhere where I feel like the Eurovision Village could be hosted. Especially because I've, I know that Tramlines Festival was hosted there so I know they can host like a mass event, like a, a mass outdoor event which would be needed for the Eurovision Village. So let's go take a look. So I'm here in Hillsborough Park and I think this would make a really gorgeous Eurovision village. Like it's big, it's spacious, it's you can definitely get a stage on this in this park and I think that would be amazing. I think it is a little bit out of Sheffield. I think that is would be its only drawback, but it'd still like be nice, it'd be spacious and you can get a lot of people in for like the Eurovision semis and the Eurovision final and get loads of like acts here to perform it. It would be really nice, yeah. So thank you for following me along on this journey through Sheffield. Be sure to check out our other videos on other potential 2023 host cities. And yeah, look out for our next video over at that Eurovision site. Make sure you give us a like and a, sub and a subscribe. And yeah, we will see you soon.